pretty fresh, you know. Uh, Kevin, I had Jason, one of my brilliant cupper companions here, who uh, took oxygen reading, residual oxygen. <laughs> So I thought that perhaps in these coffees, since they were celebrity coffees, and meaning that the brand is more important than the coffee itself perhaps, that some of them would not be fresh in the bag. A long story about what makes coffee fresh in the bag, a good package and a good packing to, to push out the oxygen, because if there's a, a, too much oxygen in with the coffee, it will accelerate the staling and fading. We have a really expensive but simple machine that takes reading of how much residual oxygen is in the package with the coffee. What was the oxygen on this, Jason? On uh, sample number one, it was zero percent. Zero percent. Wow, is, uh, that's awesome. really interesting because uh, it was biodegradable packaging, which historically has been rife with oxygen problems. Right. They had some sort of like maybe corn-based film on the inside, mm -hmm. which was maybe their solution to uh, oxygen leaking. Good. But zero, zero percent. Good. Yeah. Well, this is really good news for uh, La Colombe and uh, perhaps for Ralph if he cares. There's zero percent oxygen. That means that there was probably some oxygen at the point that the whole bean coffee was dropped uh, with nitrogen into the bag. However, the, the, the coffee is very, very little and the coffee absorbed it without harm. So we get zero percent. And Jason also points out that the bag is biodegradable. And when biodegradable bags first appeared in the market, they did not do a very good job. The oxygen measurements rather high. Jason thinks they use some sort of new film, corn-based film perhaps, on the inside of the package that prevents. So it's all around a success, I'd say. I mean, yeah. it's a fresh coffee. It's a solid coffee that has a good chance of pleasing almost anybody, uh, including me. I would drink it in the morning fine. Yeah, take, take the edge off that roast just a little bit for me. But other than that, I think it's a big success. <laughs> and of course, the 0% oxygen biodegradable packaging is a big plus. I'm glad you did the ox you suggested that Ken when we uh, were talking about doing the show because it they, I think it's going to make a big difference because one thing I'd like to point out or insert here is that there's a big difference you know I I've obviously we're I'm very biased towards small batch roasters neighborhood roasters I love them dearly but when we get stuff online when we get stuff in the grocery chain or retail chain or amazon etc there's an opportunity for the coffee is almost invariably going to be more than two weeks from the roast which is the longest i think it can be considered zero percent well, oxygen it will have <laughs> oxygen in it if it's a small yeah. roaster and they're not using nitrogen flushing, as we call it, to get rid of the oxygen as they drop the coffee into the bag, then we usually those bags we get about 14% oxygen. Atmosphere, of course, is a 20, 21, 19, somewhere in there. So it means that they've gotten out some of the oxygen, but the carbon dioxide in the outgassing from the coffee has pushed, has diluted or pushed out some of the oxygen. So coffees like that from small roasters that are simply packed usually have a, have a roasted on date on the bottom or somewhere on the package. So the consumer picks it up, looks, you'll find it, if it's within two weeks, if it's a really good coffee and a good roaster, it might last three. But if it's beyond that, it's going on dead. So uh, uh, that's just a tip. I don't think that any of these celebrity coffees will have a roasted on date. They'll all be, should be professionally packaged with nitrogen flushing and have a low oxygen. We're hoping, okay? This sort of packaging with meticulous companies 
that are really care, they might say three or four months out for Best Buy. For mm -hmm. uh, good, responsible companies, they'll say six months out. For somewhat borderline sleazy companies, they'll say one year out. <laughs> yeah, I think and one year. And for the worst <laughs> companies, which are mostly in Europe, <laughs> by the way, two years. Two years. Two wow. Years. Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah, I know. won't name names, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a different that's a different episode. Or maybe yeah. we should charge a premium okay. membership or something right. for that. 